All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This is your man Griff. Knock out a quick video here for y'all. Just want to make sure that um we're all on the same page for signing companies and all that good stuff. Because <clears throat> right now that's that's a lot of where our work is coming from. So Seben Griffin here, Griffin Notary Services, everybody's favorite notary uncle, Uncle Griff. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, all that good stuff. So I'm going to hop right into this video. It's a little late in the evening, by 1130. So I just want to get this done so y'all can have this and um, marinate on this here and everything. So earlier today, um, you know, I talked about signing companies and about people talking, you know, every now and then, about maybe four or five times a year, you all of a sudden you see these videos come out talking about what's the best signing service um and honestly i laugh at them because it's like okay so if everybody goes to them like you really like everybody really going to get orders i mean come on so we tell you it's three here's the best three here's the best five and all of a sudden all these notaries going to them and they want to have enough business for everybody <laughs> okay right yeah that that's that's not happening i mean because they don't have business for you now <laughs> you don't even know who they are so there's a misconception sometimes about the difference between a signing company and a notary platform or notary database. Okay. So I just want to go over this with y'all real quick and um, show y'all this. So, so make sure that, you know, we're all on the same page and you're not getting confused with, um, with stuff, because if you, if you don't understand it, I tell you, it can, it can do you in. Okay, I'm just gonna be real with you. It can really do you in. So let me just get this together for y'all and make sure. All right, so let me share my screen. All right, so always gotta do an extra little zoom in. So signing platforms or notary databases. These are places where notaries have their information listed stored and listed so that signing companies can find them and in some cases the general public um so this this is just a few of the ones that are out there this is not indicative of everything that's out there there are all kinds um looking at this all of them are free except with signing order you can pay to have your profile boosted up and it's about two dollars a month or something like that very inexpensive none of these are those 34 dollars a year or whatever you know notary databases i don't mess with those whatsoever so as you see you got signature closers you got snap Doc, signing order cx choice notary go nationwide signing service that's nss notary bank serve signing agent um dot com which is the nna's one so when you're on these you're putting your name in these databases and signing companies can find you so that means there's a company out there that is looking for a notary and they can search that database and find you potentially and then that's where as i've always said that's why you your profile is important because they read it and they're like okay yeah, we like this person or nah, you don't have what we want. So it's very important that you have a decent profile and communicate who you are and the things that you understand about being a notary and doing loan closings or whatever type of work that you want to market. So these, oops, I always get my fingers mixed up. These here are your notary databases where you can find all types where well, they can find all types of notaries in each one of these here okay um so that means if you're on snap docs over public title villa title those companies can you know they use snap docs to find notaries same thing with signature closers um one of the companies called radiant they use um signature closers to find notaries, okay? Hopefully you follow me. Now, the other side of the house is this one. So this here is 
snap docs as you can clearly see over here snap docs and these are a list of the companies that i've done closings for now i've talked about this before but i'm gonna share it again when you see that little yellow and or orange and black symbol these are companies that are specifically with snap docs okay if they don't have that these are companies that i put into um snap docs to record or to keep track of the fact that i'm doing closings for now okay now one of the things that people will ask about amrock i don't consider amrock a notary database because amrock is ran by rocket mortgage and they pretty much give you work that they are doing so they're not like pulling orders as far as i know and correct me if i'm wrong from other title companies or other non-rocket mortgage um lenders i've never gotten no work that I know of from another lender that wasn't Rocket Mortgage on Amrock, okay? So these, over the years, over the five years that I've been doing this, over five years, these are the companies that I've done. And when you put them in here, SnapDocs keeps track of it as to how many closings you've done and what's your average fee and what's your average miles that you've been traveling. So we have them all in here. You know, you're just looking to see how much you've been, you know, how many companies that there are. So you can see these are the companies that uses SnapDocs to find notaries. So, again, this here is the notary databases that have notaries in it. And these are the companies that will use them. And some of these companies are on multiple notary databases. So case in point like one of the companies called um where is it on here one of the companies on signature closers there's a company called client first and this here, and let me show y'all this this here is um signing order the different companies that i'm that i've done closings with on signing order so there are um companies on here and these are just the ones that i have this is showing you know the signed agreement some have signed agreements some don't but this one of them is called client first and client first has an account with signature closers and with signing order so there are sometimes i will see orders come out on signature closers for client first and if nobody grabs it over there then it'll come over to signing order. Why? I don't know. But that's just the way they do it. Sometimes the price is the same. Sometimes it could be higher or lower. So you got a multiple, you got multiple companies that need notaries and they go to the databases to get notaries. So when you ask the question, which is the best signing company, <clears throat> that's a hard question when you're looking at what? you know 59 now you might as well mind this out some you know with this here's with this on signing order for whatever reason they got some of the same companies in there twice that i've signed contracts with like you know professional notary services right there and then um and then down here they got them twice so i don't know they got the companies in there two and three times you know i guess every time you sign a the um, agreement with the um, signature one signing services. So then professional notary again. So this isn't a true indicative of an exact number. We'll just, let's just take nine out and just say there's nine duplicates. So 50 companies. So out of these 50 companies, how can one determine who's the best signing company out of these 50 companies? And then if you look at signature uh, out of snap docs, so here you have these companies. There's a lot of companies that I've only did a few with, one or two, but it might have been a great experience, as I shared earlier. Then you got some that I've done, like, what, 23, 48, um, 18, 16, 48, 42. Um, I don't even know if there's any. 86, <laughs> you know? So Armour is a good company. Where is it? Armour, no problems. But it, who's to say I could, somebody else could have problems with them? So to sit here, 48, 23, 31, 18, 41, 42, some of the bigger numbers, 37, 
Um, I don't know what happened to loan pro closers. <laughs> oh no, they disappeared. Um, 48, 36, 24. So these are the various different companies, 152. Are they a good company? Could be, could not be, <laughs> you know? It's really hard to say 105 I've done with signature closers, 151 I've done with um, signature Excel, that's off a of signing order, 113 with um, simple signings. So the 167 with the closer LLC, <clears throat> 186 with Villa title. So, what makes a signing company a good signing company? We're not talking about the notary databases. We're talking about the signing company. And with all of those signing companies, how can anybody clearly say, hey, these are the best signing companies? These are the top three. These are the top five. It's hard. Now, can somebody say, well, where's the best notary databases for you to sign up on? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Sign up on in order for you to get work. Well, let's take a look at that um and i will share my opinion it's it's sort of twofold starting off you're looking at notary go and cx choice starting off new brand new notary no those two are the ones that are probably throw some coins your way with you know getting you assigned on some work and I would have to say a third choice would probably be signing order. Now, what's the criteria? The criteria for them is you're new and you're just trying to get, you're just getting your feet wet. That's, that's my criteria, okay? It's not about the pay, it's about the opportunity. So those would be probably your best bet to get an opportunity. Um, I would throw snap docs in there as fourth, maybe tied for third, because there are times where depending on the company and where you're and where you're located, that you could probably get a lot of small work orders for HELOCs, um, trailing docs, things of that nature from certain companies off of snap docs. Okay. Now, again, this is to get started. So you know you want to get paid. They probably bug you to death about when you want to be done and all of that. They're not as responsive. They're not really that supportive. You know, um, CX Choice and Order to Go, they the main ones. Snap Docs, I mean, signature signing order, that depends on the company. But CX Choice and Order to Go have not traditionally been very, very receptive to trying to help notaries out when you're stuck on something. And if you, and the worst thing you could do is ever ask them about a notorial question, like, hey, how do you notarize? Don't ever do that. So now for more experienced notaries, and I would say, let's roll, we'll, I'll, I'll be generous and say 50 signings or more. So you got at least 50 signings under your belt. Now you're talking about most definitely signing orders, snap docs, and signature closers. Now, some people have been fortunate to get work off of signature closers just coming out the box that's great most people don't um if you're really doing doing it up then you're talking about bank serve bank serve will get you know will um i think they open once a month you know to take new applicants and all of that stuff nationwide signing service i only get maybe 10 to 12 a year with them if that if that so i can't even put them in there like hey once you hit this milestone you'll be getting you know hit hit upon you know from this company i just know that when they want you they want you so i would say signature snap docs signing order once you start getting some experience once you get more experience you can leave cx choice and notary go alone apply for these two and the reason why I haven't mentioned um, signingagent.com with the NNA, I don't know how well they actively market. I got my very first order off of them because somebody found me and asked me to do the closing. But other than that, I haven't gotten any other work off of that platform um, 
at all. So I don't think for me it's not a viable option, but they put us out there on that thing, you know. So we'll see. So for the most part, that's it in a nutshell. I mean, honestly, yeah, I could say a lot more, but the bottom line is there's a difference between signing platforms and notary and um signing companies. The signing companies use notary platforms to find notaries. The notary platforms, aka notary databases, stores the notary's information and makes it accessible to these companies who pay them for access to us. And then it's a matter of us and them working things out and us doing what we're supposed to do. So signing companies, dime a dozen out here, a whole bunch of them. Um, some you're going to like, some you're not going to like. But nonetheless, it's a good way to get started in this business and to determine whether or not you really want to do it. And don't think that just because you go direct that all direct clients are going to be so, so sweet and so together, they're not. Because what makes the signing company's hard job is the title company. If the title company don't have their act together, well, now the signing company got to deal with whether or not you're going to stay on the order or ask to be taken off because it's an hour and a half later than what um, the original order was for. So give me your comments, thoughts. I want to hear what you got to say. I appreciate each and every one of you. As y'all can see, I'm tired. I'm getting ready to go to bed. I already downloaded my documents. I got a uh, what the heck? I got a loan modification tomorrow morning. Go out there and knock that out. Should be about 15 minutes. And um, all my house inspections done. So might take me a nap tomorrow. <laughs> no, nah, I don't know. No, nah, I got some other stuff I'm gonna be working on. But if you got any questions, comments about what we talked about tonight, feel free to put them down in the um, description in the comment section. And I love to hear what you got to say about this. All right. Talk to y'all later. Peace.